Oh, hi, and uh, welcome again to another meal with uh, JR Real Life Films. So what am I going to make today? I'm kind of hungry, but I know, I know that uh, once I eat it, I'll want more later, or I'll want some leftovers to take with me to work. I'm pretty sure that you've had that same situation too, where you just don't want to cook tomorrow morning, or you want to cook the night before and just take it to work. Maybe it's so, mmm, so good, you just want to take some with you. So, what would you make? Uh, for me, it's spaghetti. So, I'm going to show you my version of spaghetti with meat sauce. I mean, everybody has their own uh, spin on things. Mine's very simple and not complicated at all. So, without further ado, let's go over some of the things that I have right now. Um, I got some croissants. So I made some croissants. These will be good uh, even tomorrow. And whenever I microwave them, I wrap them in a moist towel, a towelette or a paper towel, and and then put it inside uh, on a plate. Put it on a plate and then microwave it for maybe 15 seconds. I wouldn't push 30 seconds. Just depends on your microwave. You over nuke it, then it's going to be all hard and nasty. But croissants are really soft. Uh, and they shouldn't be overcooked. So I've already preheated my oven and these will be done in 10 minutes And then we'll go ahead and start on all this other stuff too at the same time. So I'll go ahead and put these in So what you're gonna need to make spaghetti is a big old pot. We're gonna fill it up about three-quarters of the way uh, Three-quarters of the way with some water. So about uh, about finger length down and, or even further, maybe halfway down. So let's go ahead and put some water in here. I decided to fill mine up with about half water. It's gonna take a long time. The more water you have, the longer it's gonna take for it to start boiling. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that right now and get the bro that uh, boiling process started. Okay, and I cranked it up to maximum heat to get that going. Next, you're gonna need like a, a pan, a cooking pan. This one's a sauce pan um, and it's pretty deep. Uh, not really a saucepan, I don't know the techni technicalities, I'm not really a chef. Uh, I just get hungry and feel like cooking, okay? So, I got some regular old plain Jane spaghetti, and I have an onion, one whole onion, and I got a clove of garlic, but we're not going to use the entire thing of garlic, that'd be way too much. So I'm just going to break off maybe one or two from here and then chop it up, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and prepare our onions and our garlic. So we don't need a full clove of garlic. I'll go ahead and move out that. And let's take one or two, just peel all this junk off and throw us away. And just take, just take two, okay? Or, or three, three is fine. All right, now what you wanna do is get all of this, all this skin off of here. So to do that, all you gotta do and be very, very careful with this, is you can either cut the end off of one side, like so, but not cut all the way through. You know, cut only a little bit so that way you got a, something to peel or to, to hang on to. So I just cut it down a little bit and then peel it off. Okay, that's one way of doing it. Um, another way, which this takes a little longer, uh, another way is to take the blade of a knife with the knife blade facing away from you and just lightly put it on top of the garlic and with an open hand with your fingers pointing up you want to slap down like so okay just be very careful you don't want to be messing around with a blade especially this one's very sharp I've already cut my hand once with it um, and then it just falls off the skins just come right off of the garlic okay so you separate the garlic from the skins like so and I'll go ahead and do that with these one little light tap and that basically flattens it out and makes the skins just come right off of it. Okay, that's two and three. So we did three, we'll do an extra garlicky taste today. Alright. Just don't, just make sure that blade is away from your hands and keep your hands flat and go straight down on the blade surface. But don't just pound the crap out of it, just one, one good Wax, okay? Alright, so let's move all these skins out of the way. Alright, because we don't want all that skin on our on our uh, spaghetti. Let's go ahead and chop this up. 
And I like to take the nasty bits off off the end, throw those away. So just take the bits off, just on the ends. Okay, like so. All right, all right, and then just chop it up real nice and thin. Be sure not to cut your fingers or anything. Tuck your fingers in while you're cutting. All right. And of course, obviously, I'm not a chef, so this is for all y'all male people and female that really don't know how to cook or too afraid to cook or like me, I don't really care too much to cook, but I will show you when I do cook, what I cook and how I prepare it. So we got our water boiling over here to my right and we have croissants going into our microwave right now and I'm going to use an entire onion because I'm going to make a whole bunch of spaghetti so I got enough garlic here to season up a big old pot of spaghetti and I'm going to use a whole onion I like mine extra onion, you don't have to use a whole one, just cut it in half and use half so I usually cut, hold it at an angle like this and cut the top off like so throw that away and then just peel off all these crusty yummies Okay. And cut the top off, and that made it even more easier, so it's more cleaner. And let's cut the bottom off. Just like so. Alrighty. And go ahead and peel the rest of that off. Usually I would peel probably the first layer of onion off. Okay. I like the yellow onions. The yellow onions to me have more flavor. The white onions are very, uh, I don't know, I just, I don't like the white onions too much. Yellow has more flavor to me. Alright, so I peel off all this yummies. And probably this layer too, you can see it's kind of brownish here, I'll, I'll probably cut that off too. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and lay it flat on one of the surfaces, and then start cutting. I guess I'll cut down the middle. So like so. And then lay the wide side down like this and then cut slices like so along the grain. Well not so much along the grain but against the grain. Okay. And then usually when I get to the end like that instead of trying to cut down the slope here I just turn it around like this and cut the slope away from you. So I'll cut that nasty piece off right there, throw that away and then slice, slice and slice. Okay, there you go. I got my garlic and I got my onion. Do the same thing here. Once you get to the top of the onion and it starts to slope down the other side, that's when you turn it around and then cut to the other side. Always tuck your fingers in. Alright, so we got our onions and everything all prepped up. We need one major ingredient. And that is our beef. Now remember, before I was explaining to you, I would go to Costco and buy a big old huge two pound thing of pork or two, thing, two pound thing of beef. But I don't really need to cook up two pounds of beef. So when I get home from the store, I'll divvy it up into portions and then put it into a plastic bag and freeze it real thin. So it's real thin. So it freezes really quick. Alright, and then you zip lock it and you're good to go. And then you only take out what you need. Alright. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn on the fan, so I'm sorry for the noise, but I just don't want the gas to accumulate uh, smell in here. So I got the fan going, get your pan out, go ahead and start the fire on that. I usually start it about mid, mid-high, and it's gas so it cooks quicker. Alright, so we start with our meat. I didn't really thaw out my meat like I should have, but it'll still cook just the same. All right. And our croissants are done. That's good. Don't forget to recycle. Uh, the croissants are nice golden brown. Perfect. Alright, so we got our stuff here going. And our boiling water is boiling. So I'm gonna cook this entire thing. I'm gonna cook this entire thing of spaghetti just because I want leftovers. 
I'm intentionally wanting leftovers. Usually if it's just you, you probably only want like a small handful, like something that could fit like that. If you're doing okay, an okay symbol and put that many noodles in your hand, that should be more than enough for you. More than enough. It'll be plenty. Trust me. Cut that open. Alright. Slop that in there. Alright. Got your noodles going. And everybody should have a pair of noodle hooks or whatever you want to call it. But for me, I'm going to use a uh, tongs. Just use all plain Jane tongs and just kind of twist it around the pot. As it gets hotter, spread it out, push down, and they'll gradually get into the water. Okay? Now notice I didn't put any olive oil or any kind of seasoning or salt or nothing in the water. So you can, and I probably will in a minute, but right now I kind of don't want it. I don't want it. You know. Alright. Alright, our meat is cooking up. Get our wooden spoon out like I had showed you guys before. And start breaking up the meat. But for me, I like mine a little more soft. Not, not al dente al dente, but I like my noodles a little more soft. They retain a little more moisture, so whenever you microwave it in the oven, if you microwave it for tomorrow's lunch, it won't be crunchy. So just add a splash of olive oil, not too much. Just a little bit to keep it from burning in the pan. I like to use a little bit of sea salt. So just a little bit of sea salt on that. Just add a little bit of flavor to the meat. Go ahead and turn your noodles down just a bit. You don't want it boiling over. And plain Jane black pepper. Okay. A little bit of black pepper. Got some Italian spices here. Turn down your meat to about a medium. You don't want to burn it. Throw a little bit of Italian spice mix. Throw that in there. Okay. Not too much. Just about a pinch or so. Okay. Mix your noodles up every once in a while. Just stir them around. Just keep them from sticking to each other. And that's where you would add the olive oil in the beginning to keep the noodles from sticking to each other and the salt to add flavor. So I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of olive oil, not too much to my noodles. Okay. About about a tablespoon. You could do that before you boil the water, during the boiling, after the boiling, and when you put the noodles in, it doesn't really matter. You just mix it in there and all of that will be nice and soft. Okay. So our meat is pretty much cooked. There's not a lot of grease. It's very healthy. You got the lean meat. So it's not all super fatty, but in my opinion I like the fatty meat because it gives more flavor, more taste. It doesn't taste bland, you know. That's how I like my steaks too, extra fatty, so not like a chunk of lard, but it has to have like some kind of marbleization in it. Alright, and then we'll go ahead and throw in all of our onions and garlic. Like so. I always put the vegetables in last because you don't want them to get burnt. Alrighty. And then just break up the onions with your spoon. Like so. Just stir it around gently. If you want to add a little bit more olive oil, you can. But I'm trying to keep mine not as oily. Alright, so let's get those going. Just like so. Got our onions, got our garlic in there, and everything is salty and really nice. Stir the noodles. Be very careful not to tilt the pot over. I'm going to put a touch more olive oil 
in here just to keep the meat from burning. So just a dab will do you. Not a lot. Okay, and just mix that up. And then at this stage, the onions are kind of, you know, nice and warm. They're not cold. They're warming up from the pot and everything. I would go ahead and pour in the spaghetti sauce. I got this big old bottle here. I got a big old bottle, 24 ounces. You don't need that much sauce. So I'm gonna use half. I'm gonna use half the bottle and then use the other half later. Okay? So let me open this up. Hands are a little slippery, so. Oh yeah. All right, just pour about half the bottle in. Just mix it in there really good. If you want to add more sauce, go for it, man. It doesn't matter. You're the one who's eating it. If you like heavy sauces, go for it. I like to keep mine saucy, but not overly sauced. So just mix it in there. Get everything nice and red. Just like so. Turn the heat down to low. And then use the same spoon to stir your goodies with over here. Now our noodles should be about done. We'll check that here in a second. Alright. It looks good to me. Nice and saucy, not over saucy for me. I like I like it this way. This is good. This is perfect. Okay. So let me turn off the heat on this and turn the heat off on my noodles because I know they're done. I can grab one right now. Noodle. Got a couple right here. Let's try this out. Use your fingers. Should be soft. Mmm. Perfect. Still has a slight al dente taste. Meaning it's not completely cooked. It has no crunch to it. But it still has firmness to the noodle. Okay, now let's go ahead and drain out our noodles into our, our uh, siffer down here. It's not really a siffer, but you drain. I have one of these uh, noodle dills. I, I can't remember what they're called right offhand. We'll just drain that in there without burning yourself with the steam. All right, and then just kind of slide it back and forth just to get all the moisture out. Maybe if you want to be as bold to bounce it a little bit. Just be careful of the steam. It's still extremely hot and you can burn yourself with it. We don't want you to burn yourself. Alright, so we just take it and put it back into our pot. Okay, now that we got it all back in our pot, let's go ahead and put our sauce and onions and everything into the same pot and mix it together. Oh yeah, you can leave the heat on medium. It won't hurt nothing. But I usually turn the heat off because everything's already really hot. All right, so you just mix it all in there. And here's where I would use my tongs. Or not, not so much uh, one of those spoons, because you can grab the noodles and pull everything together. Grab it and pull it together. Grab it and pull it together. And just twist it together and fold it over and fold it over and fold it over. And then pretty soon, everything will be all nice and mixed in there. All right looking good smelling good and it sure as heck is gonna taste really good all right so you should get something that looks like that that looks good right I got me this it's supposed to be like a salad dish <laughs> it's kind of deep but, uh, let's go ahead and put some on a bowl yeah it's gonna do a big old bowl Leftovers are fine, that's what I want. I want lots of leftovers so that I have lunch for tomorrow too. Okay? And that should be good enough. If I want more sauce, I could probably go and pour a little bit of sauce on here. But I'd probably want to maybe nuke it for a couple seconds. Put some in a little bit of a, of a cup, then nuke it, and then I'll just drizzle it over the top. I think that's what I'll do because it's kind of it's on the dry side. 
Here is our uh, our croissants, all nice and golden brown, perfect. Didn't want to overcook them, and they came out very good. And there you have it, guys. There's my spaghetti, all nice and cooked up. Got a little bit of meat, onions in there. Got a little bit of extra sauce, and my croissants are nice and golden brown and fluffy. Gonna pour a little bit of uh, Parmesan cheese on it. But I love Parmesan, got to have the Parmesan on there. And that should do it, just enough to lightly cover it. Don't want to dry it out too much. And there you have it. There's my uh, version of a little, I think it was about, it's not a half a pound of meat. I would say maybe an, maybe an, uh, a quarter. Quarter pound of meat is here. And then one whole onion, three little of the cloves from the garlic, and uh, a pinch of pepper, a pinch of sea salt, and another pinch of Italian herbs and spices, and a little bit of olive oil in the meat and also in the noodles. And that is it. That's all there is to it. And I think that only took me, what, 10 minutes? The video may be longer, but it, I'm pretty sure it only took me 10 minutes to cook all this. So let's dig in. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. The garlic is very slight, very, there's a very slight hint of garlic, which is just perfect. Even though I used three cloves, I thought it might be a little too strong. But the onion, it's just like eating sauteed onions. Not overcooked, still has a slight crunch to it. A, a sign of freshness to me because if it's overcooked or over sauteed it just tastes you know soggy and not not that good it loses its flavor but uh, noodles are really good mm. a very smooth the textures are very nice the meat I, I know I dropped a, a big old clump of salt or uh, pepper I mean I dropped a big old clump of pepper probably probably like two teaspoons worth of pepper instead of one but actually when I mixed it all in with the sauce and everything else it kinda thinned itself out so it's not overly peppery and that's one problem with, spe with spices people put too much always a little and don't overdo it because if someone at the dinner table decides they want to add some more seasoning maybe because they think the meat needs more seasoning let them season it but for you as a cook and you're sharing your meals with anybody, just put a, a little bit of seasoning just to add flavor and not to overkill the taste of the overall dish. So that's just my little secret to you guys. Alrighty, and that's it guys. Have a nice day. Mm.